All right, we're back. This week, play another round of HGTV's House Hunters. Now, on my channel, we play it. Celebrity Edition, and this week we're featuring a very royal group. We have Wilt Chamberlain, Zed, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle. So how this works is I'll be shown the three celebrity homes, and then I have to decide which one I'm buying as is, where is, no changes. So let's get to it. Let's play House Hunters Celebrity Edition. Here we go. First up, we have the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's $33.5 million Montecito, California estate. Now, this Mediterranean-inspired villa has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and over 13,000 square feet of living space while boasting endless ocean views, a prime yet peaceful Montecito location and unmatched sophistication. This home has a gym, two game rooms, media room, full guest house, swimming pool, organic garden, stone amphitheater, and a Wimbledon-quality lawn spreading over two lush acres Living off the grid has never been more chic with sustainable features that include four chicken coops, a beehive, a gray water irrigation system, a private well, an organic vegetable garden, 35 fruit trees, and a full solar system. And that's not enough. The compound is just three miles from the upper Montecito village, which has all of the shops, luxury boutiques, and restaurants you'd ever need, and just another mile to the beach and golf course. I like it. Ocean and mountain views. I'm in Montecito. I could be neighbors with Oprah. It'll be hard to top this one. Let's see who's next. Next up, we have a 13-time NBA All-Star and four-time league MVP, Mr. Wilt. The Stilt Chamberlain's five-bedroom, eight-bathroom, 9,000-square-foot unique Los Angeles, California home. Now, this custom-built estate was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright and offers the utmost privacy, hidden behind massive gates, perched atop a secluded two and a half acres and the Bel Air neighborhood with sweeping Ocean City Canyon and Valley views. Yeah, what was flying over LA in a helicopter? Looked down, saw this land, found that it was owned by the US government and being used for, I think, weapons testing or something like that. Pretty wild, but anyways, he ends up buying it. But um, back, to the, back to the house description here. The home has a soaring five-story living room, billiard room, gym, redwood sauna, and endless entertainment options. The highlight being a swimming pool that wraps around the entire home where you can swim directly into your main living room. It's a celebration of architecture, absolute privacy, and exhilarating views. That all sounds great. And what's interesting about this home is a lot of this wouldn't even pass code today. It's all been grandfathered in. So if you want it, you kind of have to buy it because the city's not going to let you recreate this today. I don't know. One more to go. Last up, we have a DJ and music producer from Germany, Zed's $22 million Beverly Hills resort-like retreat set on 3.2 acres in Benedict Canyon. Beyond the estate's secure gates, at the end of an exclusive cul-de-sac, you experience one of the most jaw-dropping approaches to a home imaginable. Sprawling lawns, dramatic water features, lush greenery, and beautiful vistas frame an architectural masterpiece immersed in nature. Natural surroundings, the home asserts incredible views from nearly every room, allowing you to experience the ultimate in California living. This is the perfect place to prepare farm-to-table meals with fresh ingredients sourced from your hillside garden. Enhance your healthy lifestyle in the indoor-outdoor gym with dedicated locker rooms. The multitude of outdoor spaces include an infinity-edge pool, hot tub, numerous patios, outdoor fireplaces, rooftop decks, hillside gardens, and fruit trees. Truly an estate and a class of its own. This is my most ideal location. Out of the three homes, you're literally five minutes off sunset. But is the location enough to convince me to pass up another two options? We'll find that next. So to recap, we have the $33.5 million royal estate of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Wilt Chamberlain's $13 million Bel Air bachelor pad, or Zed's $22 million Beverly Hills hideout. And I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the one house that the Diamond Dozen in LA, and that would be Zed's modern mansion. There are 100 houses that look identical to this in the Hollywood Hills. So for that reason, Zed, sorry, buddy, you're gone. Now that comes down to Prince Harry and Wilt Chamberlain. And I'm going to go with the Duke and Duchess on this one. I, I like the uniqueness of Wilt's home, but the Montecito Villa was too much to overcome. I could live to regret that. I, Wilt's is so unique, but I'm moving to Montecito. What do you guys think? I'll see you on the next video. Hit the like, subscribe. See you then. Bye.